Well, let's see, this is another laid out tutorial. This will be for laid out version 0.08, .08, basically. I haven't quite released it today, probably next week or so I'll release 0.08, .08, but in any case, uh, this is the basic view. I'm gonna go over just kind of the basics of the laid out interface, which I think are kind of neat, but I'm biased since I made the program. Anyway, so up here in the, in the corner by the rulers, there's this little button and you can select which document appears in this view window including none. So if you want to have just a big scratch space, you can do that just by clicking none there. Let's bring up that document again. And also up here, uh, it shows if there were more scratch spaces like different view windows, there would be other limbos here. And limbos are just like scratch spaces. So you can take images and drag it over to a scratch space. And they're kind of like, they're not associated with the page if they're over here. So they're kind of in limbo. That's why they're called limbo. So go back to the blank page, you can drag images onto that page. All right, and I want to demonstrate importing images. So let's see, this is the import image dialog. So you can preview images. I'm going to select three images here, that one, and let's see, that one, and oh, let's do this one. So there's three images, and if I wanted to, I could make uh, smaller resolution preview images for them. And the preview name that it gives that it gets generated as is displayed here. Uh, if it's red, it means the file is not there yet. Uh, you can select other names for the preview uh, if you want to, or select none of, none of them. Uh, so I'm just going to put them all onto one page. I could specify that each image goes to one page or have three images per page when you import. In any case, um, we'll do as many as will fit on that page. So import the three images. That dumps them all right, right down there. So I'm going to take this image, and you'll notice that it's kind of magically scaling up and down. And that's because I, I, if you click down inside an object somewhere and press the control button and drag back and forth, that'll scale the image with the, a constant point being wherever you click down on. And if you click down on, say, that hand there and you press shift and control, that'll rotate around that point that you click down at then sh uh, control will scale it. And if you press shift, it's the same as plane dragging, which is just moving things around. And another way you can manipulate objects in laid out is to uh, use anchor points or the control handles. The control handles are basically like Inkscape, uh, if you know what Inkscape is. They're, you can rotate things around or you can shear them expand them like that. If you want to remove any shearing, you press the N key. And if you want to remove the rotation, you press the capital N key. All right, so I'm going to go on to the, the control points. So you can select, if you hold control and press the left button down and then release without dragging, that creates a control point that is the center of rotation and shearing. So if you click, so there's the control point, you click somewhere else in there, it'll keep that point constant and then it'll rotate and scale around there. Say you only want to scale, then you press control, move back and forth, and that'll keep the, the constant center point there. Or if you press control and shift and then move back and forth, that'll rotate around that point. Then how about shearing, you say? Well, you can press control and left click down and up and that'll make another anchor point. So when you click another point and then drag it around, that'll shear keeping those two points the same place and if you want to get rid of those points, you click on the center, for instance, the center of scaling, and then just press the delete key, and that removes those points. Now let's say I want to get rid of the shearing that I just did. I can press the control N, I mean, the, uh, shift N, capital N, and that brings it back to normal, up and down. Then uh, when you have the object control handles on the side there, that means you're using the object tool, but when you double click, uh, that'll make the tool become the image tool. If it was a gradient, for instance, it would become the gradient tool, but this is an image, so it's an image tool. Then in the image tool, uh, it has the same sort of controls that control and drag back and forth, scales and shift control rotates. This is also effective on the viewport, except you use the right button instead of the left button. So if you press the right button down and, and press control and slide back and forth, then it'll scale the viewport image the viewport, like what you see in the viewport, if you press shift and control and then right button down and drag back and forth, that'll rotate the entire viewpoint viewport contents. Sometimes, like especially for net impositions, that's very useful. Uh, then if you want to get rid of the transform of the viewport, you press O and that'll, that'll take away that 
if you press space, that'll center the page also. All right, well, let's see. I believe that's pretty much it for the basics of the laid out interface.